and welcome to your crochet um, necklace kits. I've got totally addicted to these. Um, I've got them all over the house and I've got one to match every outfit. So inside you've got about seven meters of three different colors of t-shirt yarn, all from a lovely company called Hook to a really ethical as well, which is good. Uh, you've got two beads, which you can use later to decorate one of them. And you've also got an eight mil crochet hook. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use this bright um, coral, so hopefully that should be nice and clear for you to see. Um, and it's really totally easy for um, beginner crochet level because you're just going to be doing um, the two main things that you do when you crochet. So what we need to start with is you need to leave um, at least 30 centimetres of um, string and that's going to become one of the um, parts that goes around your neck there okay so just leave a considerable amount because it also has to have a little knot on it so maybe even a little bit longer what's that 50 centimeters and then at that point do a, a slip knot to get everything started pop that onto your hook and then do um, at 12 chains is what I've been doing now I don't know if you've seen this one. This one's particularly chunky, this rope. So you may want to just go for 10 chains. Um, it just depends on um, you know, your preference and how it looks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, obviously if you are a beginner crocheter, um, there's a really good lady called Bella Coco and uh, if you type in chain stitch with her, if you didn't really catch that, um, she'd, she'd give you a great slow demonstration of how to do that. Okay, we're gonna miss the first one and we're gonna go into the second and we're gonna be doing double crochet. So for that, it's just a wrap around the hook, then going into the first, sorry, the second one there, pulling that through once, then going over and then pulling that all through at once okay so that's one double crochet in the one after the f the end one then the next one how we make this kind of smiley curve shape is that the next one has two stitches inside it so it's a little bit more bunched up and that creates the smile effect so again double crochet so wrapping over insert into the next one pull it through over and through repeat in exactly the same hole so you've done it twice all right the next one will just be a single not, oh, sorry double crochet but one time so into that hole through and then the next one you'll be doing it twice and that's the pattern now I don't know that anyone else does it like this I watched a few videos myself on YouTube and there was loads of different options. Um, I just kind of thought of this <laughs> and it worked. Um, but yeah, feel free to watch other videos and come up with other designs. Um, but also I, I have made some with uh, doing the fishbone knot. And again, I've got a video on how to do that on the tutorial page of my website. So that's a little bit of a different looking one. And with the seven meters of um, t-shirt yarn that you have, you'll actually be able to make three of that style of necklace, but they'll be a lot smaller than this type. The other thing I've seen which looks really nice is two-tone necklaces. So there's no reason why you couldn't just do this stage now and then um, change the color for the, for the last part and have two different colors. So just a few, few ideas there. And it's so easy that you can easily have a little play um, and then change your mind and do it, you know, disassemble it and try again. So just check, I'm just checking there, but you'll see if you ever need to count, there's like four little lines when you've done it twice. There's only two when you've done it once. So I just need to do it once here and then into the hole. And let me just see, is that big enough? No, I'll do it one more. As you can tell, I'm doing it a little bit freestyle um, and it's hard to talk and do it. You'll come up with a little rhythm after a while. So doing it twice. And then I like to finish with a one. So I'm actually going into the slip knot here uh, so that I finish with a one. Okay, so that's the, um, I'm the end of that part. So once, twice, once, twice, all the way along. 
back to the start. Now, I don't want to obviously end there, it's unfortunate, I want to end over here. So all I do is I just flip him over and then I just go into every um, V shape at the top here, just pull it through and then I just um, bring the yarn through to the other side and that's going to help me travel back to the other side. So just pushing it through the V shape at the bottom, picking up the yarn from behind, pulling it all the way through. You'll notice I do it in two different stages. It's just because the yarn's a bit stretchy. I find it a little bit easier to stop in the middle there and then kind of use my finger. But you might be able to do it in one motion. So nearly there. This is how quick they are. This is why I got a bit addicted to making them. And they look great. They're real good statement pieces. So um, they're really nice gifts, obviously, as well. And then in a moment, I'm just going to show you how to finish them off with a sliding knot. Um, and again, I've only done that a few times, so I hope the classic me risking doing it again on a video. So I'm back at the other side, which is great. I always like look at the other side now and think, right, where is that coming from? Because I'd like it to look pretty symmetrical. So I want it to probably come from here and then it'll be in a similar position to that one. So I'm actually going to do one more so that it's in the same position. Yep, quite happy with that. And then take your crochet hook out, grab the working yarn, pull it all the way through. As you see, I've got a little bit too much. Hopefully you can find a use for that. And then keep yourself a similar length of thread there for, um, so, so that we're gonna do our um, neck piece now. So obviously you could try it on at this stage, see how it's looking. And then what you do is you put it in the position as if it's going to be a necklace, okay? And you put it roughly at the size that you'd like it to be. And then this top one, which is the one connected to here, I'm just gonna roll it over the back and then a second time over the front. I'll link a video that's much better than maybe the mine because it's done with really thick rope. Um, but once you've wrapped it around twice, I mean, I've got to do it one more time twice, you should two visible loops on the top, pull them up with your fingers and then grab this end and push that through. So it's a little bit tricky, you might need to use the crochet hook to help and that creates a bit of a sliding knot. There you go, I like that. Put it back into position, get the other pair, go once, twice, Ooh. I think I keep doing that wrong there, where I just the first time doesn't wrap round properly. Just like I said, I'm new to this knot myself. Once, twice, and then grab them up, push that through, and that should make the other half of the sliding knot, which makes it really easy to put on and off. And then so that you never like pull it all the way through and lose it, you can just do a simple knot on the end to keep them nice. So yeah, that's your, that's your necklace made there. And then these beads, um, whichever necklace you fancy adding them to, you literally, before you do that knot, you just slide them on. I would suggest you just do a small knot at the top so that they stay um, still. And then tapping away here, I just wanna give a big shout out to Kaylee Beth, who's been doing work experience with me, who has put all these kits together and inspired me to get them done. All right, hope you enjoy your makes. Do tag us in any pictures and hope to see you soon. Bye.